Diablo 4 has completely shattered all sales records, making $666 million in just 5 days and took the gaming world by storm. So, what's the secret behind Diablo 4's astonishing success and sales figures? Stick around as we discuss the top 10 reasons behind Diablo 4's record-breaking success. Diablo 3 was released on May 15, 2012, which was more than a decade ago. The Diablo franchise has a dedicated and passionate fan base that has supported the series since over 25 years of its inception. Players have been discussing potential storylines, gameplay mechanics, character classes and other features they hope to see in the new game. This led to a massive community engagement in forums, social media groups and online communities dedicated to Diablo, sharing the excitement, discussing news and updates and sharing fan art. And to top off the excitement for the long-awaited return, Diablo's marketing team did exceptionally well too. And this is via Polygon. On June 6th, the sky turned orange, smoke from Canadian wildfires drifted south and cast a dull orange hue over the United States northeastern states. New York City looked outwardly and post-apocalyptic, its residents sucking in hazardous air. And one billboard stated, Welcome to Hell, New York. And there were celebrity endorsements too, including the likes of Megan Fox and Chloe Grace Moretz, and even popular brands like KFC. Not only the promotional material for Diablo 4 was eye-catching, but there were some really immersive gameplay improvements too. Starting with the removal of RNG or random generator system of drops for rare and legendary items, where every time an objective is completed, the title is highly unlikely to offer different loot. Also, players can now add sockets to armors and weapons via occultists. You do not need to re-roll item stats to add another gem socket to any item, which was a game changer. And now players can maximize their endgame builds by stacking multiple gems. The ability to assemble sets out of salvaged armor at the forge instead of traveling back to the transmogrify. An allocation of an extra free color slot for the first piece of armor. Allowing the dodge ability to all classes. The addition of timed world bosses accessible to all the party members. A rideable mount made available to all classes. Improved seasons where players do not need to complete all the objectives in order to move on to the next and the list is endless. Overall Diablo 4 is a huge improvement over its predecessors. Diablo 4's intricate storyline struck a chord with players. The captivating narrative pulled players into a dark and engrossing world where every decision had consequences. Fans found themselves emotionally invested in the game, yearning to unravel the game's secrets. Another aspect is that in an interview with Gamerant, associate game director, dungeon designer and quest designers discussed the focus was on the narrative development, building more upon the lore that was separate from the actual campaign that explained the game's mechanics. And these were rendered via some really astonishingly polished in-game cutscenes, contrary to Diablo 3's stylized motion graphics with the addition of fully animated voice characters. Diablo's proprietary engine has always been a mystery for us all since there isn't a fancy name attached to it like Gorilla's Decima or uh, Crytek's CryEngine or Bethesda's Creation Engine. But Blizzard indeed used an updated and much enhanced engine compared to Diablo 3 and Diablo 4. The character models are much more detailed with improved complex shaders showcased in natural and realistic lighting. A darker overtone drew players into the game with enhanced textures. Diablo 4's beta was possibly the most successful Diablo beta ever in the history of Blizzard, with over 300,000 concurrent players across all supported platforms, with over 62 million hours invested, 30 billion monsters slain, 47 million player deaths over just a few days, and being number one in Twitch streams. Diablo 4's beta was a success story. Blizzard in fact allowed the entire prologue and the first act as playable which was not a small segment of the game by any means. And hence, the game won the hearts of the fans much before its release. 
The beta testing was made rewarding by offering rewarding bonuses like the casualty title, voyager title and the all alluring beta wolfpack cosmetic item. Diablo 3 was a great game no doubt but it never really justified its always online requirement. Now remember this is almost 11 years back and players with limited or unreliable internet connections found it almost impossible to enjoy this amazing game. Plus there was an element of server dependency where maintenance would disrupt a player's experience. And even though Diablo 4 is a mini MMO experience, it never forces you to be always online and can be enjoyed solo as well. Yes, playing online means you gain better XP but like I mentioned before, it never makes it necessary to be always online. Okay, I could have added this point to the promotional campaign run by Blizzard Entertainment for Diablo 4, but trust me, this one really needs a separate discussion. Blizzard collaborated with creative agency 72 and Sunny and production company Wildlife to adorn a medieval cathedral in France. Now this encompasses a 60 foot high ceiling and walls with 2400 square feet and the artists were entrusted with the task of creating an enormous demonic hellscape. The entire task took an astonishing month of 10 to 16 hours of labor per day and it's beyond impressive. As pointed out by Screen Rant, while playing Diablo 3, you either need to host a public game or initiate a private game with your friends. But in Diablo 4, you are all playing the same game at the same time. This meant you do not really need to host a match, but can unexpectedly find an ally while playing the same event on the map. You will be able to gain shared XP and this can even happen if you are even playing solo. Diablo 4 was released on 5th June this year. However, the review embargo was lifted 5 days before its release. Unlike games where embargoes are set to like a day before its release, the review copies of the game were distributed well in advance to the reviewers, providing reviewers with ample time to experience the game. Developers can address any last minute issues or bugs discovered during the review process and this consolidated universal positive coverage generated significant media attention and social media discussions, maximizing the game's exposure and hence resulting in more copies sold. The marketing team at Blizzard decided to give the gamers, as a result of the pre-order bonus, an early access and thus a head start and enhanced the pre-release sales. The inclusion of crossplay mechanics in Diablo 4, which was missing from the previous game, allowed console and PC gamers to come together and play together. The highly polished live action trailer for Diablo 4 has more than 3.5 million views, and if you read through the comments, you will realize the immense hype among the players. And lastly, Blizzard went out of their way to actually reward a unique real life award, the much coveted Lilith statue with the player's name immortalized on it, limited to the first thousand players to reach level 100 on hardcore mode. So these were the 10 reasons why Diablo 4 became such a huge success. Click on left for some mind blowing details on Assassin's Creed Mirage or right for the 10 most anticipated games in the second half of 23. If you found this video fascinating and enjoyed exploring the mysteries behind Diablo 4's success, remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your fellow adventurers. By the way, what do you think the future holds for Diablo 4? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep gaming and keep gossiping.